welcome to the Unstoppable Indians on NDTV Profit, a show that is dedicated to ordinary Indians with extraordinary initiative, people who are changing India. Inclusive capitalism. Skeptics would argue that there is no such thing as inclusive capitalism, but today we'll see if we can prove them wrong. Journey with us to Chanderi in Madhya Pradesh to see how a community-owned company, not a cooperative, but a community-owned company actually works. The sun is just about rising as our train pulls into Lalitpur station. From Lalitpur, we head out to Chanderi. It's an hour away by car and the drive is magnificent. Across the Rajghat Dam on the Betwa River, a crossing that takes us from Uttar Pradesh into Madhya Pradesh. Finally, we are at our destination, Chanderi, a town synonymous with the silk and cotton saris that are woven here. And you don't need a tour guide to tell you where the weavers are based. Chanderi is an age-old tradition of handloom work. A tradition that goes back many generations. So many that we won't hazard a guess. For the uninitiated, the Chanderi weave is unique for its delicate texture and its incomparable transparency. And then you have the traditional intricate motifs, often inspired by local architecture, that are woven into this sheer fabric. wander into the home of Nusrat Jahan, a 33-year-old Chanderi weaver. Her husband introduced her to the art and now they are partners in marriage and in business. जैसे हम शादी होकर आए थे बहुत जल्दी सीख ली थी 16 17 साल में देखते साथ ये काम हमें बहुत अच्छा लगा देख के कि एक लेडीज के लिए घर बैठकर 
बहुत अच्छा काम है कि कहीं जाकर जॉब करने से बेहतर है कि एक लेडीज जॉब के तरीके से घर पे कर सकती हैं। In March 2007, life changed for Nusrat Jahan, like it did for hundreds of weavers in Chandeli. The birth of DAH Chandeli, a modern business organization. A community-owned company, a company with the weavers of Chanderi as shareholders. Mr. Jahan tells us proudly that she owns 10 shares in DAH Chanderi. She bought them for 100 rupees a share in June 2007. Today, each share is valued at 240 rupees. That's capital appreciation of 140 percent in two and a half years. Out of curiosity, we asked Nusra Jahan if she can read what's written on the share certificate. The answer is no, but she's quick to point out it doesn't matter that she can't read. She knows what it represents and that is good enough. जी हमारा बहुत मतलब इसमें अधिकार है जो इसकी सैलरी मतलब होता है बैलेंस शीट आती है उसमें हम लोगों से रजामंदी लेते हैं हाथ उठाकर तो हम लोग देते हैं उसको और इसमें जो भी डायरेक्टर वगैरह चुने जाते हैं उसमें भी हम लोग अपना हमारी मर्जी से ही मतलब चुनते हैं और इसको हम लोग बोल्ड भी कर सकते हैं करते हैं हमारे हाथ में ये शेयर होल्डर में शरीक होकर मतलब बहुत बड़ा हथियार है ये हमारे लिए बहुत बड़ा महत्व है Today there are 455 weaver shareholders in DAH Chanderi. But what do we know about the company besides the fact that it is a community owned company? Well, here's a primer. DAH Chanderi was incorporated in March 2007. The weaver shareholders had one thing in common. They were all suppliers to Fab India the retailer of handloom garments and handicrafts headquartered in Delhi. At Fab India's initiative, the weavers were invited to subscribe to shares in the newly incorporated company. There was no limit, uh, no, no criteria. As such, they should be belong to the community and he should be the, he or she should be from the local weavers and they know the skill. The Weaver shareholders continue to supply to Fab India. The only difference is their supplies are routed through and managed by DAA Chanderi, a company in which they, the Weavers, are shareholders. We refer to them as community-owned companies because they are actually the shareholders. They are, they are public limited companies. They are not not-for-profit companies. They are for-profit, public limited companies with the caveat being the shareholding is from the local community. So they're involved with community development. They're involved with, for example, um, the shareholders all come from a, a geography. And that was really the, the main reason for setting them up. Incorporating DAH Chanderi was the easy part. The tough part was getting the weavers on board as shareholders only because the concept was so alien. Champalal Ahirwar, a weaver himself, recalls the initial skepticism. The message from Fab India, the architect of DA Chanderi, to the weavers was very clear. The company and the shareholding structure would raise the economic security of these home-based artisans. Uh, there's a lot of time that we spend with the artisans in the field, talking to them, explaining to them, because the whole concept of a share was brand new. They did not know what a share was, they did not know what it meant to be a shareholder, um, what was dividend, how, could, how to consider their share really as an asset, which was more valuable than land, which was more valuable than gold. You know, we spend a lot of time just sitting with them, talking to them, um, and sharing the, you know, the value addition that we're bringing to them through being shareholders. The weavers are not the only shareholders in DA Chanderi. They do hold the largest chunk, 33% of the shares in the company. The rest is divided like this. 12% is held by employees of the company, 
30% is held by AMFPL, that's Artisans Microfinance Private Limited, which is Fab India's investment arm, and 25% by external investors like social venture capital funds. But what are the real benefits to the Weaver shareholders? How does DA Chandari give them greater economic security? We'll answer that question when the Unstoppable Indians returns.